Hey, what's up guys? This is a Jobbers Extra. I'm Brandon. I'm here with Mike. We're going to be discussing Goldberg's possible return to WWE, what that means for the future, uh, if he's going to stick around for a while, and the matches that we could possibly see coming up. So there's rumors out there, Mike, that uh, Goldberg is coming back to fight Brock Lesnar at Survivor Series. So what's your first thoughts of that, hearing the news? And uh, what do you think that means? Is it going to be like a one-off or, or what do you think? You know what would be awesome is if Goldberg just destroys Brock Lesnar and then, like, Paul Heyman tases him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, are you excited about it at all? Like, it, I'm not. No. I'm not. I mean, Goldberg, he wasn't a good wrestler then. He's, like, 15 years older. He's going to be worse now. And uh, and I'm tired of Brock. Yeah. His shtick has gotten old. Yeah, they need to turn him heel again I think to revive his character but I mean another another stick to be kind of humorous about the past would be um, if Brock Lesnar had like a eat sleep conquer Bro Goldberg repeat yeah uh, and then but like underneath he had like that steel plate that Bret Hart had <laughs> right yeah so he goes for the spear and then <laughs> yeah. knocks him out dead <laughs> yeah yeah uh, you know I'm not excited about it either I think with Brock Lesnar, you know, all he does is suplex people, you know, and, and they're riding in for some reason. I mean, the if you don't think that, you know, Vince McMahon's lost his mind, they're booking people to take concussions, you know. <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. But Brock Lesnar is basically, you know, labeled as this unstoppable force. It's going to continue that way. Um, you know, they, they're going to have, like, where you know, he's just coming back and hurting people and all this kind of stuff, and, and who's going to stop him, and then you're going to have Goldberg come out. Uh, I, you know, I'm one of those people that I'd never cared for Goldberg. His character's really stale and sour and whatever. It just it, it doesn't do anything for me, you know? So his, him coming back, it's just another guy who left because he didn't get his way. You know what I mean? So it, it just doesn't... You know, the nostalgia factor and stuff is kind of cool, but I never liked him in the first place. So no, I, you, know I, what Vi you know what Vince needs to do is he just needs to pay CM Punk. There you go. Like, well, that yeah. that's that's something that fans would care about. Like, I, But, you know, um, you know, you had to go and fire the dude on his wedding day. Yeah. He had to treat his wife like crap. Yep. And uh, he couldn't give a guy his WrestleMania match, you yep. know? I think the, just, the only way he would come back is if Vince had nothing to do with it and it was, you know, like if he were on SmackDown and never had to see Triple H or Vince or any of those people again, you know, it would be like if Daniel Bryan and Shane are kind of his boss and has like a new fresh start and they, you know, push him, basically what they're doing with SmackDown, if they pushed him to the, the moon, I think that would be the only way, but I, I I don't see him coming back to WWE ever. Nope, and uh, and so in the meantime, we're left with a 56 year old Sting, mm -hmm. a 50 year old Undertaker, a 50 year old Goldberg, uh, which um, you know I like Sting. I liked his gimmick until the WWE had to go and do the ha ha ha. We're better than WCW. Yep. Um, you know, because Vince needs to get over his sour grapes. Stink should have won that. <laughs> yeah, uh, sure. but but you know, like you don't have to keep bringing back these um, has beens. Mm -hmm. It's just you know, like let's appreciate them for what they were. And if you're going to do that, you have to bring back people that are interested and can put on good matches. Like the only people that fans I think would truly get behind were would be a guy like CM Punk or a guy like Shawn Michaels. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I mean, the WrestleMania stuff—that's where you do that. You know, you have this past WrestleMania, you had Stone Cold, Mick Foley, and Shawn Michaels come out, and it was one of the coolest things that we've seen in a while. But it was just, uh, you know, them going in the ring, uh, you know, beating up some people and, and leaving, you know. So um, that's fine and dandy, but, you know, you're bringing back Goldberg to have an actual match with someone who, you know, now just suplexes people, and it's going to be really boring. Um, you know, the first match they had was terrible. It's, you know... I don't know. I I think you just need to leave Goldberg out of it and let him have his little shining moment on the video game, put him in the Hall of Fame if you want, um, and, and just be done with it. So, you know, another rumor that's going around is Brock Lesnar Rock at WrestleMania. Um, the Rock coming back is, is pretty cool. You know, um, I always enjoy him, just his entertainment value and all that kind of stuff. You know, he's the hottest Hollywood actor right now, so 
Uh, you know, he's killing it, and when he comes back to WWE, it's always cool. But him up against Brock Lesnar um, kind of fizzles it out for me a little bit. So what do you think of that one? Yeah, I mean, in, in all reality, they, there's another rumored match of The Rock versus Vin Diesel. I think I'd rather watch <laughs> Rock versus Brock than that. Uh, pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> it is pretty close, but uh, you, you run the risk of having another Stephen Amell out there with a guy who can really only do one or two moves. Yeah. Uh, and you know, the rock at his age, I'm sure he could do a good match with another good worker, but I'm not sure at this point he could carry a great match. Yeah. Uh, whereas I think Brock and rock could have a decent match. Uh, the only thing is, is I worry about his health and the, his ability to make movies cause you know, landing on your neck that many times can't be good for, uh, for business. Right. Exactly. Yeah. They're going to yeah. have to do something to protect him for sure. And, you know, I don't think he'd get in there if, if there was a, a chance of him actually getting hurt. So hopefully Vince doesn't have another, you know, genius move and, and actually give somebody a concussion on purpose. Yeah. So, um, you know, that's pretty much it, guys. You know, let us know what you guys think of Goldberg possibly coming back and Brock Lesnar and Rock at WrestleMania. Uh, you know, leave the comments down below. Let us know if you're excited about it because, you know, if you listen to this, you know that we aren't. So. Uh, so yeah thanks so much guys for checking this out you can find us on youtube at the jobbers um on twitter at the underscore jobbers we love talking to you guys uh leave us your comments thanks so much have a good day guys